hi all welcome back so today in this video we'll be learning about how we can automate a horizontal slider using playwright so let me show you the website of a demo website so this is from internet herokuapp.com slash I mean uh, the website URL is uh, the internet herokuapp.com slash horizontal slider so if you hit this URL you will get this page and this is just a demo application and uh, you can see like it's a horizontal slider and I can like uh, just drag it to the right and you can see uh, this value is getting incremented like uh, if I click here it is 0.5 and if I click here it is 1.5 like this it is incrementing and now once I click the last point it is getting 5 after that there is no increment so this is a horizontal slider you can you may find this kind of slider in many website for example you can if you uh, if you if you have any e-commerce website in that case also you can see I mean I do not have any kind kindly I do not have to, I do not have any a live website to show you uh, but you may find similar kind of uh, slider in many website so you can see I have to click on this button or sometimes I what I can do I can just uh, first click on this click on this um, slider and use my uh, arrow right button okay in your from your key keyboard you just press the arrow right button I mean arrow right uh, key not button but key so if I hit that button right button arrow right you can see it's getting incremented from 0.5 to 1 then 1.5 to 2.5 3 like this so similar way we can do the left one as well so this is how we can do the automation as well so first uh, let's say a user has given an input like 4 maybe uh, we have to set this slider to 4 so in that case what we can do we can just uh, hit uh, this it would be first at 0 then uh, you have to uh, press 8 times right so there's 0.51 like this once it is reach once it is reaches to uh, 4 it will stop okay so that's the thing we have to do through automation simple right so let's see how we can achieve it so I already have created one file called test slider and uh, here I have to just replace this name with test slider or we can write like taste horizontal slider okay and this is the URL we have now let's identify the locator so inspect it and uh, we have here uh, the type equals to range and uh, we have this one so I can write like div dot class name and just give a space and write input so this is the locator we have to use for slider so this is the slider and uh, slider equals to page dot locator and then we have to give the CSS okay next uh, one more locator we need here this is the value so we have to track this value right so that we can uh, reach to this three or four whatever value we want so let's inspect this three so I can see I can use the range ID so it should be the uh, slider what we can say uh, slider value right or slider point whatever so slider point equals to page dot locator uh, has ID right so we got these two locators this is the only two locator we need for this automation now next what next once we once this page is loaded it is at zero right so and we have to make let's say for example we want to make it to four so I will uh, give a range for example range uh, equals to uh, range is a reserve keyword right so we can use like uh, range max that's what we want for so we want to set it for so now 
we got this value maybe it can be it can be provided from any data input let's say csv or anything is fine so for example for now we are just assigning this 4 to this variable okay next what what we have to do next we have these two thing so basically the logic would be like first it is at zero so what would be doing we have to uh, we have to iterate over it right so you have to kind of loop here you have to use a loop you know it right because you have to place this arrow right button from here first you have to select it right so first you click on it and then you have to press this 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 like that so let's first press you on it so slider uh, dot I mean sorry first you have to click on it to make it as a focus so we can write slider dot click so we clicked on it now once we click on it it is at zero now now you have to press this arrow right so how can I do that so for that we have a option called slider dot press and we have to use this arrow right there is a if you go inside this you just use control and click on this press method from here okay you get this generated dot py file and here you can see uh, whatever the key you need you got it so where we need uh, the arrow right yeah this one copy it and paste it here that's it so it will click for the ones now what you have to do we have to reach till 4 right so we have to iterate over and over so what you can do uh, we can simply uh, we can simply do a while loop so while true So what I'm doing, trying to think like, uh, let's say I can do something like that as well. Like uh, while uh, let's say I'm making taking index of zero, okay, and I can uh, just uh, press. I have to press like if I have to reach to four, uh, then I have to uh, press it four uh, eight times, right? So that also we can do. Or what we can do one more thing like we can uh, we can do something like. Uh, what I'm thinking like uh, this four this is a numeric value right I want let's say I'm taking it as a string okay or maybe I can take something like 4.5 right so this is in string I'm taking now I'm using a while true loop that means it's an infinite loop right so if it is infinite loop, first we have to set a breakpoint when it should break it should break when we got when it matches when this value 0 0.5 it becomes 4.5 right so this is 4 and once I hit 4 arrow again it becomes 4.5 once this value comes it should break so I can write a condition if if uh, this slider point dot inner text okay slider point dot inner text equals to equals to um, range max right when this happens we should break the loop right otherwise if this is not then what then we should press the arrow key that's it right is there anything else we need to do we we just pressing the arrow key that's it and once it reaches to the maximum range i mean uh, this next 4.5 then it should break because after that it should not press the arrow key that's it so so here we can do something uh, Uh, we can print it like whether it reaches to 4.5 or not so print 
this one right so let me remove this part so we are using a infinite while loop and here we have set a breakpoint when this range max that is 4.5 equals to equals to this value then our loop should break otherwise it should click the arrow right button okay now you might have a questions like what if if i give a wrong value let's say something like which doesn't exist maybe i am giving a value of 7.2 uh, which will never come right so in that case what should happen so in that case maybe if you are giving a wrong value uh, then either you can uh, print out a message call it's a wrong input please give some uh, value in uh, final value or what you can do uh, it should uh, you can just do a maximum range that is five so that's you can do so let's give another uh, uh, if condition that is uh, if um, this slider in our text dot text uh, equals to equals to five okay once it becomes five then also why should I want to break it because there is uh, there is nothing after five right so once it becomes five then I should break this loop that's it or we can um, I mean that's fine for now I mean you can customize it as per your requirement but uh, for now I'm thinking like that and let's print this value here that's it and let's run it let's check whether it's working or not so let me give a um, page dot wait for timeout that should be 5000 milliseconds and I'm running it by test uh, by tests minus s dash dash headed and uh, miscellaneous and then test slider uh, no yeah this one and I should give some slow motion but for now let's keep it let's run it let's see what happens You can see it's it's just reached to 4.5 right and uh, it closed the browser right so our code is working fine let's uh, do some negative testing also let's give a value of uh, let's say 6 and let's see what happens so if I give 6 that doesn't exist right so uh, the slider should reach to point I mean the slider should reach to 5 and it should stop yep it it worked perfectly fine also you can see here uh, if I just scroll up you can see this five value is also printing that is for this one and we can also use one expect like expect uh, slider point uh, dot to have uh, let me import it from sync API yes uh, to have a text called uh, what to have a text called the value which we have here range max right so let's remove this part and let's run now and this time let's uh, run it I mean we can give a pause I think I do not need a pause because you can see it's actually click uh, pressing this arrow button if you want to see how uh, if it is properly pressing it or not or you can give a, a time or 1000 seconds so we can run it it will wait after pressing the arrow right button it will wait for some time now this time it should fail because we are we want to set it at 6 but after 5 so you can see it switches to 5 now it should fail yes it fails now let us make it pass so to make it pass we can write something like 2.5 maybe yeah and let's run it Yep. 
so you can see it's reaches to 2.5 and it passed so i hope you got the logic and i hope you understood how to do it so that's it for today's video and if you have any questions please do let me know and please subscribe to the channel like and share it with your friends thank you for watching